In this series, we're talking about modes so much because they change the mood of music. I mean, to be able to change the mood of music is so important because music's all about how it makes us feel. And, you know, it's, it's a very powerful experience that can change you listening to music. But that's a very vague thing to say. You know, it's very subjective to talk about how music makes you feel. And so a lot of talking about modes can seem kind of intangible. But if you want a quick and simple way to write chord progressions in a mode and start getting your ears wet hearing what that mode sounds like and what it feels like, here's a pretty quick step technique. Step one, pick a mode and the, name it, <laughs> say what it is. So let's pick D Dorian because that's an easy mode to think about. Okay, step two, we're going to find out what key that mode is in. So D Dorian is in the key of C because Dorian's the second mode. D Dorian implies that D is the second note of whatever key we're in, and D is the second note in the key of C, which means we're in the key of C. Okay, step number three. We're going to pick chords from the key of C using any method you know, any chords you know from within the key of C. And then step four is we're going to put the modal home bass note under all of them as a pedal tone or a drone. So we're taking these chords from the key of C and we're going to take D, since we're in D Dorian, as our home bass note and stick a D under all the chords in C. And then we're going to pick a few that we like. So here are the triads in the key of C. I'm going to have this written out in case you're not familiar with these voicings. Here's a C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, and finally B diminished. And back to C. And now we're going to stick the D under the C. Ho oh, ho. Nice. Here we go. D is my open D string. That will help us. So here is C with D on the bottom. D minor. E minor. F major. G major. A minor. And B diminished. And then C again. And it wants to resolve to D minor. So that puts us nicely in Dorian because it's resolving to the D. So let's play around within those chords. That's how D Dorian feels. However that made you feel, that's how D Dorian feels. So we are firmly playing chords in D Dorian because we're droning D under chords in the key that D Dorian is in, which happens to be C. So I'm going to do this for every mode parallel to D because it's so convenient. We have this nice open D string and I can play my three string, uh, top three string triads with this D underneath and you can hear how each mode sounds. So those were chords for Dorian. What if we go now back a step, let's go to Ionian. So Ionian is the first mode. So if you're in D Ionian, D is the first note of the key you're in, which means you're in D major. So here are the chord, the triads in the key of D major. We got D, E minor, F sharp minor, G, A major, B minor, then C sharp diminished, and then D. I have these written out for you. So now I'm going to drone D under these chords and you'll hear a very familiar D Ionian sound. Resolves nicely to the D major again. Alright, let's skip ahead to mode number three. D Phrygian. So D Phrygian, D is the th Phrygian is the third mode, which means D is the third note of the key we're in, which puts us in B flat major. 
So now we're going to take all the chords from B flat major and see how how that turns out. So we've got a D minor, we've got a E flat major, F major, and then we've got G minor, uh, and then we've got a nice A diminished, and then we've got B flat major, and then we have C minor, and then back to D minor for D Phrygian. Phrygian feeling. All right, now let's go on to D Lydian. Lydian's the fourth mode, which means D is the fourth note. What key is D the fourth note in? It's the fourth note in the key of A. So our chords are from the key of A. Our drone is still D. So we have uh, right here A major, then B minor, then C sharp minor, D, E major, and then we've got our nice friend uh, got confused for a second, F sharp minor, and then we have uh, G sharp diminished, which I'll play like so, and then we've got our A. All right, so here let's do the drone and play the chords. So that's D Lydian. Um, now the thing about all these progressions I'm uh, making that you may no might notice is that I end and often start on the uh, home base chord of the mode I'm in. So in this case, I'm playing D Lydian, so I start on a D major, or I end on a D major. I actually didn't start on a D major this time, but I ended on D major, and it really helps to play that home base chord in your progression. It really helps to kind of put the period at the end of the sentence, or at the beginning, wherever you decide to put the home base chord, it really helps define the sound. So next we've got D mixolydian. Now, D mixolydian, okay, mixolydian's the fifth mode. D is the fifth note of what key? It's the fifth note of the key of G. So that means we're gonna use chords from the key of G. Okay, so we've got G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, F sharp diminished, and G. And uh, to stick with the voicings that we were using earlier, um, if we, we could start on our G here, uh, here we do it, G, A minor, B minor, C, and then we've got our D major, we got our E minor, F sharp diminished, and our G. Okay, so I'm gonna drone in this key with those chords. too hungry to play the A there. Uh, I'm just so hungry now. As soon as I'm done teaching this, I'm going to eat something that's food. Okay, so you really hear how pretty, you know, Mixolydian can be there. And next we've got D Aeolian. All right. Aeolian is the sixth mode, which means D Aeolian. D is the sixth note. What key is D the sixth note in? That's right, F major. All right, so we're in the key of F major here, and so the chords in F major, we're gonna have um, F, G minor, A minor, B flat, C, D minor, uh, and then E diminished, then F. All right, so let's give that a go.
All right, so now we're on to D-Locrian, the troublesome Locrian. Uh, you'll hear it. Some convincingly Locrian sounds, they'll just sound kind of icky, uh, depending on what you're into. I personally find them to be refreshingly off. So, D Locrian, Locrian's the seventh mode, which makes D the seventh note, and D is the seventh note of E flat major. So we want chords within the key of E flat major. So here's E flat, then we got F minor, G minor, then A flat major, B flat major, C minor, then we have D diminished, and then home to E flat major. Now we're going to go D Locrian, so we got our D pedal under everything, and here we go. Doesn't sound too resolved because it's Locrian, but that's what we got. 